You can mention it my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. In this video, I would like to talk to you about product inserts. Now, product inserts, although costing maybe 20 to 30 cents a piece, are what we call an excellent touch point for you and the consumer and your purchaser. On your insert, you can do, you can accomplish quite a bit of things on that one little piece of paper. Now, when we talk about private label, the ultimate goal is to have a brand with multiple product lines under that brand or multiple brands. And so when you're thinking of your branding, you want to find as many little areas that aren't going to be too costly that will help imprint on their mind of the customer, your brand and your mission. For example, what are some things that I like to have on my product inserts? There's a few things. Sometimes I put one to even two product inserts that have front and back printing. On these product inserts, I like to include one, my, my website. Now Amazon has strict terms of service about directing traffic to your website, but there are little tips and tricks that you can do that are, against, that are not against Amazon terms of service for using the product inserts to direct them to your own personal website. Now why do we want them to go to our personal website? Well, if you have a Shopify account, or a Wix site, or one of the other mini websites, whenever you get a sale off of Amazon, you don't have to pay those 15 plus percent selling fees. So you can save a lot of money, and you can actually price your products even cheaper on your website. This also diversifies your risk. If anything ever happens to Amazon, it's fine. You're getting sales on your website. And plus, there's some that will find your website that never would have looked on Amazon. Or there's per customers who purchase from your website and once they find out, I mean from Amazon, and once they find out about your website, when they go to make return purchases, they'll go to your website and you can get sales at a much discounted fulfillment rate. Again, what do I like to put on my inserts? One, the first thing is to direct them to my website. Now, how can I do this in a way that's not breaking terms of service? Well, typically, what I like to do is offer some type of warranty for their product. Now, it can be a five year, a 10 year, a lifetime warranty, but in order for them to fill out the warranty or to get access or approval for the warranty, they have to go to my branded website and put in their information. Now, we know this is not against terms of service because if you buy any Sony product, any uh, Panasonic product, anything, there's always a warranty card, isn't there in there? You can put this on your insert and what that does is drive traffic to your branded website. So I like to have something on there along the lines of, thank you so much for your purchase. This product comes with a 10 year all inclusive warranty. We love our products, we love our customers, and we stand by both of them. To apply for your warranty, go to our website at www and then give the website information there. Also, I like to flip over that same card and put a review, product review request. Now, product reviews are very difficult to get on Amazon. Hardly anybody leaves product reviews. You sell 100 products, maybe two or three people will leave a review. So any time that you have an opportunity to engage the customer, to try to get them to do a product review is the best. So, on the opposite side of that insert that is directing them to my website, I like to do a little product review request. On that page, I like to talk a little bit about the mission state of our company and what we are trying to do and what type of impact we're trying to have on the world by means of our product. I don't try to get all fancy about special specifics about the product. No, I really try to appeal to the consumer's emotions. I try to paint them a picture of where my small business and my family is at and what we're trying to accomplish and how one way that they can support us is by leaving a simple product review and then I leave the little steps on how they can do that. So that is one product insert. Front side directing traffic, the back side product review request. Now what if you want to include other inserts? What are some other ideas? Trying to get your social media following for your brand up and followers and engagement is a very good long-term thinking process. So another insert that I like to have is a snap to win or a pick to win 
type contest. And in order for them to participate in the contest, they need to take a picture of their product in use, post it on their social media account, and tag our brand, and then follow us. I lay this out clearly on several steps on the actual card itself. And this is one thing that I do with every single one of my products. Now, does that mean a ton of people are following me now? No, however, for that extra 20 cents or so, or 10 cents for product to have that in there, I do get quite a few followers from this. So those are just a few ideas that I use and that I've found success with when it comes to product inserts. Remember, it's only a few cents, yet it can have a huge impact on how consumers remember you, driving them to your website, and also improving your social media presence for your brand. I hope this helps you guys. Talk to you soon.